guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we're going to be making a picture for the YouTube Artist Collective, and this month the theme is Masquerade Ball. You yourself can participate in these themes. It's not just the official members and the guests of the YouTube Artist Collective. You can also post your art on the page and share it, and it's just a lot of fun. We have a hashtag on Instagram and everything like that, so I suggest that you get involved if it's something that you're interested in. If not, feel free to sit back and relax and enjoy watching what the artists have presented this month um, for Masquerade Ball. <laughs> So, um, I usually kind of think about the theme and what everyone else is going to do. And I'd like to guess what I think people are going to do. For Masquerade Ball, it's either going to be these things. It's going to be a good looking girl with a mask. And it's not going to be, it's going to be like a mask with a stick or a mask that looks like Robin from Batman and Robin. And it's going to focus on the decorated mask with the pretty girl. It's going to have more of the outfit presented. So it's gonna have a masked girl that also has like a very elaborate outfit. And then my third idea was it's going to have an attractive woman with a mask and an outfit, but also an attractive guy with a mask and an outfit. So it was gonna be like two masquerade people dancing or something like that in the ballroom because it's masquerade ball. And those were the three kind of things that I came up with that I think that most likely people are going to, to draw that for this theme. And if you know me and you know my friend Valerie, we tend to do kind of the same sort of thing. And sometimes it's not anywhere near what other people in the collective are doing, but we tend to do something similar. So I was thinking like, okay, how can I not do what Valerie's doing? Because I tend to uh, think about that because <laughs> it just happens so often. It's kind of so really weird between us. So I was thinking like, what can I do that's not these three things that I thought of? And what can I do that might be a little bit different that other people might not be doing? What I came up with, I feel like it kind of breaks the rules of the theme theme is masquerade ball but what I ended up doing was I did the carnival of Venice which isn't a ball and I don't know if it's technically considered a masquerade even though a masquerade is kind of like costumey and have you have a mask on and you can't see the identity of the other person I guess it's kind of like more like a masquerade festival and less like a ball because I really don't think that the people in Venice actually have an exact ball but I ended up going with the carnival of Venice anyway and I figured you know other people won't do it it still has a mask and it has an elaborate outfit it's just like a different kind of, of thing and it's like a different culture it's a little different maybe like this is kind of similar but maybe breaking the rules a little bit but I feel like it's kind of like really similar so it will be okay so I really settled on doing carnival of Venice so the differences between the outfits is that with Masquerade, you generally have like this, this sort of mask that looks like Robin and then an elaborate outfit. It looks like a ball gown and they're kind of just covering their identities and they're dancing in this ball, ball or whatever. And like people, um, there's a lot of like mystery and intrigue and whatever. But with the Carnival of Venice, like the aesthetic is totally different, right? They have full face masks and I think they're made out of porcelain. They do look like glass um, and then they paint like lipstick on and like the nostrils and then they'll have different adornments on the mask itself. And then there will be a lot of over the top elaborate crazy, I want to say like avant-garde almost outfits because they're just like so puffy and big and over the top, especially with like hats and things like that. Um, a lot of the outfits will have different things like button sequins, feathers, um, frills, 
flowers. They'll just sew in like full flowers into their outfits. There's different kinds of fabrics. So some of them will be like sheer, some of them will be like stiffer, and then they'll all just kind of like have like golden fabrics and different things. And it's just crazy. And it's all put together. And it's just like these really elaborate outfits. But what really caught my eye was the mask because it has like this really creepy quality to it, but it's really kind of like just really cool. And that's what I wanted to focus on in my picture here is that basically the mask is the focal point. Everything else is just a lot of detail and different textures. Like I put feathers and flowers and frills and stuff. But that's not really the focus. The focus is the mask. And honestly, if you look at my drawing, you can tell like I didn't really put too much thought into how things were put together because I'm not a fashion designer. I don't really understand how clothes like this work because I can look at pictures of like the Carnival of Venice. I just don't know how the flowers are attached together or how they're sewn into the, the clothes and the fabric and like, the outfits are so complicated with like how they're put together and like all the random components put together that I don't really get it. But um, I wanted to have like a bunch of different things going on in the outfit here, but really that's not the focus. The focus I was going for was the mask. I used my Schmanka watercolors for this. Um, I just bought them recently. I'm going to do a review on them at some point in my life. I don't know when. Um, but I was really impressed by them. They're really awesome. I'll have a, a video someday about that. But I made these very kind of blotchy sort of washes going on and uh, I layered some of them and originally I was going to have these very deep colors like like red and blue and black and like just really, really rich colors going on. But I really enjoyed how these washes came out and I liked that they were kind of pastel-y because I didn't really start layering very much. And I kind of wanted to keep that. So I ended up just totally changing my mind halfway through and I decided to abandon the rich colors and just embrace this really kind of pretty and simple pastel palette that I had going here. And then I used my dip pen and some red ink and I did the line art on top of the watercolor, which was a little bit difficult actually because the lines were a light pink colored pencil. So I was having trouble kind of seeing them. So I had to reinvent a lot of the line work that I had already going on, which is always a bummer to me because I spend so much time trying to for things like this, trying to make the line art in a way that I like because it, it's a picture that I'm going to be selling. But then like I'll lose some of that in translation depending on like, the method that I'm, I'm using to get somewhere. So that was kind of a bummer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like how it came out. Um, I had a lot of fun with the mask and I, I do like the picture. I would have kept it but I already basically have it sold. I have an interested buyer and I haven't been uploading my YouTube artist collective pictures to my store because they keep selling before I get them uploaded. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a good thing, right? But it makes my store look like I've never sold anything and no one's interested. But the thing is, it's actually the reverse and I do have interest. So that's why I don't even get to posting it. So that's kind of weird. I've never really had that happen before. I feel so loved. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get going. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and you're gonna have a great weekend. You guys take care of yourself. I'll talk to you next week. Also, let me know what you think of my picture. Um, I mean, technically it's not a masquerade ball, but it's still kind of the same thing. So do you think it kind of fell in with the theme or do you think it was too far away from the theme? That's kind of what I'm wondering because I feel like masquerade, this should definitely be a masquerade. Everyone's identity is concealed with a mask. At the same time, they're technically not in a ballroom as this is sort of like a festival and it's outside. All the pictures I've seen of people in outfits are outside. So, I mean, it's technically not in a ballroom. So 
does does it really work for the theme? Let me know what you think because I, I really don't know. I'm kind of like half and half on it, but eh. You know, sometimes it's fun to throw something a little bit different into the mix. And I'll talk to you guys next week. I'm going for real. Bye.